Welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to use FASTAA to segment the road damages. Here we have a sample road damages and we are uh, going to uh, start from data collection, labeling and training and inference. To download the images, FASTAA has API. Um, this is the API FASTAA has to download the images. Um, So this is a uh, code inside this method. Uh, it calls a Dr. Go search engine. It downloads. Uh, uh, it gets all the image URL. So here we can see the list of images, and you can run this cell to download the images. Um, since I already download the images, uh, I'm not going to run this and verify images. It gives um, corrupted image list that we can uh, delete it so these are the images we already downloaded uh, it's around 238 images so then next step we are going to uh, create a label from this um, images we are going to use label me for labeling we'll open the label me Okay, then we'll select the folder which has the images. So I took only one sample image. And it has a different option like for polygon rectangle for bounding box. So we are going to use polygon and we'll select the damaged part. And we label this as a damage. So likewise, we have to um, create a uh, label for each images. It gives a JSON uh, file for each image. We'll see. So for this image, it gives a JSON uh, file. Our next step, uh, we are going to convert this into Cocoa format. Uh, for that, we are going to use um, label me to Coco from this library. So, uh, instead of um, installing that, we are going to use the um, direct Python file. So, we copied into our local path. So, this is the files uh, we copied, uh, copied from the GitHub itself. So, you can find it under Label me and utils, and it, it also uses image utils uh, library. So uh, we'll open this file. Here um, we are going to change the file path. So this is the folder uh, which has a create a label, and this is the path where it's going to save the JSON file. So this two only has to change, then we'll uh, execute that Python file. Okay, it is executed. We'll see the JSON file. Okay, so this is the JSON file. We'll remove this one only uh, image files, okay. <clears throat> so this is the image and this is the category and this is the annotations the segmentation values will be there on next step we are going to use this coco json to convert the mask file um, so I, i'm storing everything in the same folder for demo but uh, we can create a separate folder for each like for uh, this JSON file in separate folder and mask file in separate folder like that. So um, we'll see uh, how we can uh, convert into mask. So here um, we are going to use uh, this PyCocoa tools library. Uh, we'll execute that one. So here we are giving the path for the JSON. and we'll load the 
annotations and here we have only one category ID, it's only the damage and it load all the image IDs, right now we have only one image. So from this um, annotation, so uh, it converted into mask file. So we'll go to the folder and see. So this is a mask file it created. So this is the image file and this is a mask file. Um, um, we'll see the folder with multiple images. So here we have a multiple images we downloaded and we created a labeling. Uh, this is the label we created for each image and uh, we created annotations for uh, with that label me uh, JSON file. Uh, from this annotation, uh, we created um, a mask for each image files. Next step, we are going to train the model with the images and with this mask. I have uploaded into uh, Google Drive the both images and mask, and we are going to use uh, Colab for um, training. So uh, this I had already mounted with G drive. So we'll import fastbook. So this is the G, G drive path. And these are the 448 images and we'll create a label name and with this mask file. So these are the mask files. And this method n underscore codes, it will go through the mask file and create the unique values present in the mask. So in this case, we are having um, black and white. So it will be uh, 0 and 255 and it creates a dictionary for each values um, so here in this case here it's uh, 0 will be 0 and 255 will be replaced with 1 these functions already shared by uh, Zach in his tutorial. So this method, we, uh, we, are, we are using this method as well as we are going to use this get mask file, sorry, get mask function. And we are going to use a code instead of a background and face, we are going to use um, good and damage. And uh, in his code, you can see um, get why he is using lambda function. Um, but I was facing an issue while exporting the pickle file. Um, so instead of um, creating a Lambda file, uh, he also suggested to go with function. So for this, we created a separate function with for a get y. And we are going to create a data blocks. Like this is a input is image block, output is mask and this is a get file uh, splitter and for get y we are going to use our uh, get y function and uh, item transformation patch transformation is we are going to use and we are we'll execute this one okay so now uh, we'll get a data loaders from the data set We'll see the batch file. So it gives a batch of four five, four, four images. And we are going to use uh, unit learner and ResNet 50. Like when I'm trying for next time, I'll just uncomment this one. I'll load the existing uh, saved model and I'll start the epoch. So for now, I have uh, loaded the existing saved model and I'm not going to 
um, execute this fine tune because it's already trained. We'll um, directly go to the prediction. So I have test images I copied into the collab. Um, so we'll start the prediction. Uh, we'll store the predicted images also. Um, uh, then we'll add both images and we'll show this. So these are the combined uh, combination of images as well as the prediction. Next up, we'll download the pickle file in our local system and we'll do the inference. So here uh, we need to copy the get y function which we used in our training. So, um, so so we have to uh, use this function and this uses some uh, dependency. So we have to use um, these two cells also. So we have copied in our uh, code and Then we'll load the pickle file. Um, and this is the test video file we are going to use for inference. Uh, so we are going to write our output. So oh. so this is the input video file. We are going to use it for our inference for testing. Then it um, it reads each frame and it predicts and it um, combines both input as well as the prediction and it and then it saved as a video file. Uh, we'll start the execution. So. This is the um, output file. It reads each frame and it predicts the damages. I have a final output video. Uh, let me show that one. Please let me know your feedbacks and suggestions. Thank you.